I don't know what it is about the sweater. In a way, I kind of feel like I'm channeling some early 90s nine inch nails, some Trent Reznor here. You know, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he's from Mercer, Pennsylvania. So in a way, it kind of makes sense. Well, today we're doing a video that's a little bit different from our typical videos. We're in Upland, California at a place called Little Shop of Hairdos. See what I did there? Well, see what they did there. It's Little Shop of Horrors. It is a horror themed hair salon and shop. You know Jessica, she loves the colored hair. Today, she's getting it done. She's going back to some pretty vibrant green. And we're gonna check out the shop and you're coming with us. Now, before we go inside, I wanna check out some of the artwork they have on the front windows here by our buddy Drew Rausch. He's an amazing artist. We met him at Midsummer Scream Season Screamings in Pasadena a couple weeks ago. And before I even saw his name on the window, I knew immediately that this was his art. Check out that Bride of Frankenstein and that skull. And down here at the feet of the bride, we have Frankenstein's monster's head, his severed head, and a pile of dirt with some bones. Now, don't get me wrong, I love all the classic monsters, but I think the creature from the Black Lagoon has to be my favorite. We got the Wolfman over here, as well as Drew Roush's signature ghosts. I love these little buggers. On the other side of the door, there's Dracula. And if we turn this way, this is the little shop of Hairdo's logo. Man, I love it. Wherever I come, I'm in love. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that his day? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. Hi, my name's Tammy, and I am the owner of Little Shop of Hairdos here, our horror-themed hair salon. Uh, kind of interesting concept here. Um, of course, I'm a lifelong horror fan, so um, I was a hairstylist for many years, and once it got to the point where I was going to own something, I wanted to do something that stood out above the rest. Well, I did, and uh, almost seven years ago now, um, I opened up this place. Um, this is actually our larger location. We had a smaller location down the street and then a year ago we moved to the larger location because we outgrew the other location. And um, I'd have to say uh, when I first started, a lot of people asked me why would I do such a thing? And uh, I said, well, I know hair and I know horror movies, so why not combine the two? So um, it's exactly what happened. And here we are seven years later, and now we're actually even looking into a second location. Not sure where yet, but uh, we are. So we're building. So the people that made fun of me, well, here we are. So, <laughs> so. but um, so we've been part of here of historic downtown Upland now for the entire time, seven years. And uh, we'll be here until I'm gone. And maybe my family will take it on after that. But um, we've had really, really uh, great clientele that comes in and out of here all the time. Um, and people that say that this was a brilliant concept. So I'm like, well, when I first started that wasn't so much the case, so, <laughs> but I just did, went with what I knew. So, um, of course I grew up, uh, I was born in the seventies, but raised in the eighties, which I think is the best decade of horror. So, um, there's a heavy influence of eighties in here. I even have VHS and so forth. Of course I have Crypt Keeper and, you know, of course, the legends of Ghostbusters and Nightmare. So anything under the umbrella of horror, I have it uh, represented here. So even comedy horror to anything, even classic horror, it's all here. All right. Yeah. Let's go inside. All right. Now you guys are going to absolutely love this place. And before we start showing things around, let's do a quick sweep from the front door to the back. And then point out a few different things. Man, this is amazing. Now, there's a lot of people in the shop today, but I think what has to be the most important client is this guy right here. 
<laughs> I love that they just have him sitting in a chair. I really love that the gremlins pretty much have the complete run of this place. Now, usually they're playing a horror movie on the big screen TV, but for the sake of the video, I had to have them turn it off. But here's a couple of horror VHS tapes. Let's see, there's Young Frankenstein, Silence of the Lambs, The Lost Boys, Halloween, Gremlins, The Mummy, American Werewolf in Paris, and Little Shop of Horrors. Right here by the front door are these two amazing chairs. <laughs> oh man, we need these in our house. But look at this. It's this giant tree over in the corner. And on one side is a skeleton, and on the other side, Nosferatu himself. This has got to be the coolest hair salon I've ever seen in my life. Now, it's a full house today, so I'm trying to give people their privacy, but I do have to get the camera in here to show you guys this. Oh man, Werewolf of London, look at that poster. They even have a little photo opportunity here in the back of the salon with Billy the Puppet from Saw and the skull wall. Now, it's been a while since I've said this, but I'm going to say So the process has officially started. Mm -hmm. What color are you going with today, Jessica? Neon green. Neon green? Yeah. It's, it's, my, it's become my signature, apparently. Yeah? Yeah. So here's a question I was just wondering outside. Since we've been together, coming up on five years, mm -hmm. how many colors have you had? Let's see. I've had teal, green, pink, lavender, and platinum. And you like the green, so that's what you're sticking with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's UV reactive. <laughs> I would maybe one day do a UV reactive pink. I think that could be pretty. I think they do have one. Yeah. And this is Heidi. Yes. She is Jessica's hairstylist today. The colorist, I'm sorry. Yes. Either one. There you go. There you go. All right. We're all excited. So we're rooting for you. Yay. Get it? Rooting? Oh, oh it's too much pressure. Bad joke. <laughs> And it looks like Jessica is all said and done and her hair is neon green once again. All right, baby girl, what do you think of it? It's very lovely. And I think we decided we're gonna call it 
Candy Apple Mermaid. Candy Apple Mermaid? Mm -hmm. Did you do the uh, black light test? We did. Yeah? How'd, yeah. It, how'd that go? Perfect. Nice. It looks beautiful. You look beautiful. You always do. I feel like I'm standing here with a coven of witches behind me. A huge shout out to Tammy and Heidi here at the little shop of hairdos. I've actually never seen a horror themed hair salon until now. You guys are phenomenal. Jessica, you, you look absolutely beautiful. I can't get over it. <laughs> with that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure. And as always, happy Halloween. 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 Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a-comin' my way.